Zentech is the stock, Zen Technologies is the stock that we're looking at. Uh, it's a stock that's gone up 122% in the last one year. And um, for, our, for the benefit of our viewers, this is a company that is involved in the manufacturing of various types of training equipment and simulators that is used in the defense and the military uh, industry. So there's plenty of scope in this defense uh, industry. Uh, some call it a sunrise sector. Let's find out what the scope is. Ashok Alturi, the chairman and managing director of Zen Technologies, joins us now to talk about that. Ashok, hi, good morning and thanks for joining us. Um, your current order book that you have is around 120 odd crores. Uh, what kind of order visibility that do you have for the next say 6 to 12 months? And you know we did have that second Defence and Aero Supply India Summit that just happened recently. Uh, did you get any responses or any fresh customers from that particular summit? Uh, yeah, the, the last, first of all, the last announcement that we made, we had 80 plus crores of order spending mm -hmm. because we had executed part of the 120 crores uh, recently. And uh, with respect to Aero India, this, this was the first time, you know, we, we are a company that is focused on land forces training simulators and we tied up with Rockwell Collins. And Aero uh, India, we demonstrated our capability in flight simulators along with Rockwell Collins. This is uh, the first partner with whom we built a simulator. And we, there was a lot of interest. This is the first time an Indian company was actually showing this capability. So there was a lot of, lot of interest, but the gestation period to actually convert it into order would take a, maybe one more, one more year at least. Okay. Um, uh, uh, Mr. Atluri, uh, I just wanted to know what is uh, uh, going wrong in terms of your quarter-on-quarter -quarter performance. Revenues and margins were impacted. Yeah, we are actually, this is, a, you know, number one, we, we, we always request our investors not to look on quarter and quarter because this is, we get, we are very, very lumpy in terms of sales. Mm -hmm. So, typically we get an order, we execute in the next three to four, two to three quarters and it is executed and the next order comes. So, what our investors look at is the cumulative cash flows that we will have in future. It's uh, unfortunately it's not like a retail business or a McDonald's business okay. where we can do on a quarter and quarter or you keep adding stores you get it. But mm. yeah, but we have built lot of uh, you know IP uh, and you know we have built lot of products. We think about seven to eight products that are going to be uh, requested by the government of India. Mm -hmm. They run into almost seven thousand crores worth of. Uh, tenders and we think that that's the biggest opportunity for us and again in addition to that we are also looking at exports the if you look at the recent Paris attacks you know mm. when the Mumbai attacks happened we were telling everybody in the world that you know it's not the question of if these kind of attack will happen again it's the question of when I mean taking the AK-47 couple of AK-47 and some ammunition these things can are going to happen a lot of times again and again and how do we respond to such attacks Mm -hmm. So we have a tactical engagement simulator which we sell as a concept to the forces. Okay. In India they have started taking up, but I, we think it's a huge market worldwide for that. So you know, I think there is a lot of potential in terms of products that we are going to sell. We have built uh, in the uh, spending a lot of R&D money on the products. Okay, uh, you were telling us that there's a lot of potential also in the land forces training simulators. Uh, what exactly is your market share in this segment? So you know, in the, I, I mean, we have, wherever we have bid for these tenders, about 95% of the time we have won. And we have competed against the world's largest companies in India also, because India is a big market for them, and we have won. So we, the, 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 in terms of uh, the existing products, we are very well established, but the upcoming tenders, we, you know, which we are saying are a few hundred, thousands of crores of work, mm. we expect more competition to be there. So just but to get know, a sense of... A small, uh, small, there was an interview with... Uh, sure, just to get a sense of the numbers, uh, you know, in the year gone by in FY15, you saw a very healthy 60% growth in your revenues, in your top line, to about 82 odd crores. Uh, what kind of um, yeah. uh, compounded growth would you expect in the, say, the next two to three years? Yeah, cumulatively, you know, we are expecting, you know, we said that we are in the bid race for about 500 to 700 crore worth of orders and we are there in quite an advanced stage. We expect that these will be, uh, we may get these orders and if this happens, that means to say that cumulatively we will be doing about, uh, about 500 crores in the next two to three years. That is our uh, expectation. What about your uh, uh, EBITDA and uh, net performance? When does it get into the green uh, uh, this quarter, next quarter? 
So, you know, at 40, you know, 45 crore, we are already in the green in terms of half yearly results, we are in the green. Okay. But, uh, you know, what our uh, break even point is around 45 crores. And once we cross 100 crores, we get into a very, very healthy margin. Uh, uh, you know, at 78 crores, we made about 20% PAT, uh, profit after taxes. So that, and that improves significantly once we cross uh, 100 crores. Okay. You know, I, I just want to state one point. You know, in the recent interview, uh, Raksha Mantri said one very important point that the de design and develop products in India will be given the topmost priority. Till now what has happened is if you so called made in India and you uh, sold the product that was enough. But you know when you look at uh, Apple kind of iPhone, the making is done in China by Foxconn. It's, it's available for $200. The cost of material is $200. But it is sold in America for about $650. So where does $450 go? The value capture happens at the design and develop uh, phase. So the, whoever is the IP owner of the product typically captures the major value. When you say make in India, are you just saying manufacture in India, IP remains uh, overseas? So that is the danger we have. So with the first time, and you know, the reason why we have never got into indigenization and defense is, frankly, the policy today says, if you make 30%, we will give you, uh, we will treat you as by Indian. And if you make 90%, 95%, we will not. So this policy has encouraged people importing and putting the label on that to say it's, it's Indian. So the point here is for the first time, Raksha Mantri has said, we will give the topmost priority. It's an interview in Bharat Shakti.in where he has said, we will give the topmost priority to uh, products that are designed and developed in India. So the IP belongs to Indian and we will, even if it is, uh, you know, whatever is the situation, okay. they say if this product is available, we will not import it. All so that's right. a big, big thing, we, the change that has happened. This was about two, three days back, so we feel very, very positive about it. Okay, all the best uh, for the second half of the year uh, and we hope that you receive these orders, uh, the government orders worth 7,000 crores that you're talking about over the next many years, of course. Uh, thanks for joining us.